YouTube, it's your boy King Pookie coming out with another Bears preview of the Tennessee Titans versus the Chicago Bears. The Tennessee Titans are favored by six and a half, six. And you know, um, you know they came, you know the Tennessee Titans came out with a loss. They lost two games. They lost to the Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Um. You know, and um, the Bears are five and three, and um, you know, but um, yeah, um, the Tennessee Titans, the twenty seventh in passing, and twenty five in overall, and twenty two in rushing, and um, they have eight um to f out of four turnovers, twelve take takeaways, four of them or three picks. And one fumble, you know, um, the heart of uh, the Tennessee Titans is, you know, Mark, I mean, there, you know, King Henry, um, and so, you know, uh, the Bears need to stop Henry. Um, I get a lot, you know, a lot of people say, you know, we gotta to stop Ryan Tannehill because, you know, um, but yeah, I think if we hold, um, De Henry down from to 80 to 70 yards, I think the Bears have a chance to win this game because if he scores more than a hundred yards, it's game over. You know, there's no way the Bears are gonna win. I mean, the um the Bears, you know, I love how the offensive is better in the in the New Orleans games, but it has to do better. And you know, Nick Foles, man, he has to do better, man. He, cause, cause in that Saints game, he was terrible, man. He threw out so many picks, and you know, all uh, how all Bears, Bears Nation is calling for Mitch Trubisky, but uh, that's not the answer, you know. As much as we hate, we don't have to do, stick with Nick Foles because Mitch cannot come back because we declined his fifth option. So I don't know if he's gonna be here next year. Um. I don't understand maybe why you're not bringing um Tyler Bray in the conversation, you know, um, but yeah, um, Nick Foles is the you know, he's our number one um choice right now. We don't you know, our uh, Ryan Pace is awful. I don't think he's gonna even make any trades at all in the um trade deadline. I think the trade deadline is I don't know if it's over, um, yeah, but. Man, we're losing, and you know, we just found out that Brian Messi is going to be out for for one month. So, yeah, we're losing players like left and right, you know. And then I think if somebody tested, uh, tested positive on the team or something. And then, you know, um, how, um we, we're definitely hurting with, you know, losing Eddie Goldman on the team. But we, you know... Ryan Pace needs to address the offensive line, not the defense. Because the defense is like, you know, it, it is okay. Um, but, uh, man, we need to address the offensive line, you know. Um, the defense is pretty helped us, you know, staying in the game, you know. But uh, Chuck McGon, man, he's ru ruined this defense, you know. He's just, you know, this defense was like the best when before when, when Vic D'Angelo was here and Chuck Bagan, man, he's just, you know, he's just ruined his defenses. So, um, but yeah, um, so if we, um, stop to Henry and Tannehill and I think, and you know, they, they, they got, um, you know, Jalen Ramsey because, you know, he got, he, they signed Jalen Ramsey. Um, so he's gonna be he's gonna be a tough on guy. Um, we gotta watch out for two. But um, yeah, if the Bears play like last weekend, um, I think maybe they have a chance to beat Tennessee Titans. But if Nick Foles keeps throwing interceptions in itself and he does not run, I think Tennessee got has it. You know, um, Tennessee. I think they're gonna try to get revenge because they lost against Cincinnati and they lost to the, the uh, Steelers, so they might want to get revenge and take advantage over the Bears, you know. Um, so, but.
But um, it's going to be a very close game. Um, I don't know. It's very hard to get when you pick Tennessee or the, the Bears, you know, who's going to be the winner. Um, everybody wants me to say, you know, the Bears, why? But you got to think of it. If you want the Bears, they have to play, you know, at the best. So if I pick against the Bears, that means they're not doing their job. They're not. They're not doing good. So, um, I would, you know, I'd love to see more A Rob. I would love to see Anthony Miller. He finally showed up at, the, you know, um, so, and then, you know, I, and I would love to see Robert Quinn. You know, Robert Quinn is just has been doing trash for this team. He's done, only has one sack, and you know, we paid all his money for him and for his services, and he's done. We should have. Just kept Floyd instead, you know. Um, so that's gonna be on Ryan Pace, you know. Um, that is a that was a bad move and a bad signing. So, but yeah. Um, hope if we lose this game, it's gonna be hot, 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 hot for Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace to you know change it around because I think um, the next game is gonna be. Um, after the bye, it's going to be the Vikings, and we don't know, you know, the Vikings just beat the Packers, you know, so we don't know, they might be a different Vikings team, so, um, yeah, but, um, yeah, hopefully the Bears squeak out this w a win, but we got to stop Henry, so, this is King Peaky, leave me a comment below, let me know what, you know, who do you think is going to win, um, give me a huge thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will bring give you the latest, greatest Bears content that I could find. So, about this is King Pookie. Join the King Pookie Nation Army because we're getting strong. I want to hit 300, baby, by next year because I just hit 200. And right now, I have 204, so I would love to. I don't know, maybe by the, end of the beginning of the year to get at least, I don't know, maybe, um, I don't know, I don't know if I'll hit 300, but I would love to, love to hit 300, but yeah, join the King Pookie Nation Army. So this is King Pookie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.